Welcome back, all you clever people. We are in the middle of isolation, quarantine, whatever you want to call it. Got the quarantine hair going on. It's all good. We're going to do some hit film goodness today. Now, this is coming from a user request of sorts, even though it's based on a test that I put out there on my channel about a little over a year ago. I'd almost forgotten about this thing, even though I had kind of in the back of my brain planned on doing something with it. But a user in the forum beat me to it and asked for it. So here you go, Mark Lucky, and anybody else who wants to know how this works, this hit film tip film is for you. Make a composite shot named Source. Add the stuff that you want to move along the path. For this demo, it's going to be a text layer, but it can be pretty much anything. Lock that text layer, then add a plane that matches the height of the text or your other content, whatever that is, and sits directly behind it. Be sure the plane isn't the same color as the text, just for your own ease of use. Next, lock the plane, then animate the text or the other stuff, making sure it stays within the bounds of the plane. Make a new composite shot named Path. Drop in the source comp and add the puppet tool to it. Click Generate Mesh. The tool switches to animate mode, waiting for you to add control points, but we're not gonna do that yet. If you want to modify the mesh that was generated, this is the best time to do it. So change back to edit mode and you can adjust the amount of detail in the mesh with this property. More detail will mean cleaner deformation, though it may affect performance. I'll reset back to the default detail for right now. Switch back to animate mode, and click to add a control point on one end. Continue adding more points, evenly spaced, until you have all the points you want. Now, if you want to modify the default point placement, return to edit mode and adjust each point then go back to animate mode. Back in the source comp, turn off the visibility of the plane behind your text. In the path comp, we're left with just the text, which we can shape with the puppet tool control points. Here's how it works. The Puppet Tool builds its mesh based on the image information at the time you make the mesh. If we started with just the text, the mesh would match each character in the text exactly. Adding the plane behind it forces the Puppet Tool to make the mesh a solid block. After the mesh is generated, we can change the source comp all we want, including hiding the plane, and the mesh doesn't change. So it's gonna show anything we push into that original space. That is it, short and sweet. If you found this useful, please give it a like if you like, and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of what is coming up next. Until next time, clever tagline.